Kitchen. This is part of the OC Healthy Recipes. I'm Tiffany Calvert, County Extension Agent for Family Consumer Sciences, and we're in the kitchen at the Extension Office, and we're getting ready to make a healthy snack. We are going to be making a energy bite. Um, you can find lots of recipes on the internet um, for energy bites, and so there's a variety of different ways you can prepare them, but I'm just gonna show you one of my favorites. Um, and so I have a bowl here. This is just a dump mixed together recipe. It's super easy. And so I have a cup and three quarters of a cup of um, old fashioned oats, or you can use the quick cooking oats, whichever you prefer. So once again, it's a cup and three quarters of a cup. And then I have a fourth a cup of a seed. For this particular recipe, I've used the chia seeds and the ground flax seed. So in order, when I'm adding two, I've, or, I've put an eighth of a cup of each to total one fourth cup. So if you just had one or the other at home, you would use one fourth cup, okay? In this recipe, I have um, an eighth of a cup of chia seeds and an eighth of a cup of ground flax seed. because so I just wanted both of them in there. And then I have three-fourths cup of natural peanut butter. And how do I know it's natural? Read the ingredients. Guess what peanut butter is made out of? Peanuts, okay? If you have other added sugars or anything else that's in your peanut butter that shouldn't be there, then it's not the natural. So three-fourths cup of peanut butter and I'm just using a rubber scraper to get all that peanut butter out of there and then I'm going to do one third cup of honey um, you know sometimes in cooking it's an exact science in this case it may not be but honey the fact that it's pourable needs to be measured into a liquid measuring cup okay it has a spout on it. it. This is a liquid measuring cup. Get in there and get all that honey. And this is my actual local honey. So I'm super excited to use it. And for this recipe, you there's extra stuff that you can add in here. And I have chosen to put some shredded coconut, okay, and just a little bit, fourth of a cup, should do it. You can also add any kind of chopped nuts, make sure they're smaller pieces because we're going to end up rolling these into bite size um, balls and then you can add any kind of chopped nuts that you would prefer. I'm gonna leave the nuts out, and then I'm also going to add a little bit of cacao powder. Not to be confused with cocoa powder, this is cacao. This is um, chocolate in its natural raw form. It's very, very bitter by itself, but the fact that we have honey in this recipe, um, it's gonna taste amazing. This is gonna be like my chocolate fix, a healthy chocolate fix. And I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of this, not a great deal. And we'll see how that works. And we're just going to mix all of this together. Here comes the sticky, messy part. But still, this recipe is really simple. It's just a dump, stir, and then you're good to go. You know, if you're mixing it up and something turns out to where it's extremely dry, then add more honey or peanut butter. Same thing goes if you end up having too much honey and your recipe is too tacky, too sticky, then add more of your seeds or your cacao powder or just more oats, that would work too. But the oats and the peanut butter is kind of what is holding everything together in the recipe. And these are actually going to be stored 
in the freezer and I just keep mine in the freezer. They don't freeze rock solid. They don't just take a few seconds in your hand once you get them out of the freezer um, to thaw them enough to bite into. And so they keep for a really long time. And I love to keep these on hand at home simply because you just get a sweet craving every now and then or um, you know, you're know you wanting a little bit of chocolate. And so you're just gonna put these out into the cookie sheet, pop them into the freezer, and then once they're good and frozen, that's when you can uh, put them into a container of some kind, um, whether it's in a jar or a freezer safe baggie, but you're just gonna keep them in the freezer. And they're called Power Bites because this is protein packed, okay? This is gonna be a substantial snack. My kids love these. So keeping healthy snacks on hand is the key to eating better because we, um, if we don't, it's dangerous when we're hungry and there's junk food lurking around. Even if it's not lurking around, sometimes I find it anyway. Um, so these are just really healthy snacks. So you're gonna fill your cookie sheet up, pop it into the freezer, freeze them, and then once they're frozen, they are gonna look amazing. And, um, this recipe, we didn't put the cow cow powder in them and we actually added some chopped nuts in there. So this is what they look like um, and they are amazing. And it's a very, very healthy go-to snack. So thank you for tuning in. Be sure to comment if you have tried this recipe and you like it or if you've created another version of Power Bites, let us know about that too. Thank you for tuning in today.